Hello everybody, welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're going to be doing What If Thomas Dewey Won the won in the 1948 Election? So pretty much all that needs to change is Strom Thurmond doesn't need to run. I think that's what kind of killed his campaign in the South. Um, I'm go like You could probably give Dewey South Carolina, Alabama, Mississippi, and Louisiana if Thurmond wasn't running. You probably could. Um, also, I think the state of California. There might be one other state. I could be wrong, though. So, But Dewey would just have to perform better than what he did. And, well, Thurman would also not have to run. So, Republican Governor Thomas Dewey would defeat Democrat President Harry Truman 277-254 to become the 34th president. Um, this is another timeline where things don't really change that much. They really don't. After, like... There are only three elections where it's changes, and that's about it. Nothing too major happens. Nothing too major changes. Uh, nineteen fifty-two, Thomas Dewey would uh, go out against Adlai Stevenson the second. Uh, so Stevenson would run here, and he would actually improve on Truman's numbers. He would do a lot better in the South, while Dewey would do better in the uh, West. Um, sorry about that. My sister decided to run out the door, and the dogs thought something happened and started barking. It's weird, I'm sorry. But uh, Dewey would beat uh, Adlai Stevenson. He'd do a lot worse in both the popular vote and the electoral vote. Say, he'll be the first president since FDR to do this, which wasn't that long ago. So, uh, a trend could be seen here. But uh, Dewey would defeat Stevenson 271 260 to win re election. He'd still win the popular vote by around two or three points. Uh, D and R plus, R plus three national environment, I guess you could say. Um, going on to 1956. Well, oh, hold up. 1956, Dwight Eisenhower would run. Of course, there are concerns about his health. People saying maybe he shouldn't run. His health isn't the best. Uh, but instead of Adlai Stevenson getting the nomination, uh, Estes Kefauver gets the nomination instead. Uh, Stevenson lost to a pretty underwhelming candidate. Thomas Dewey would be kind of like Barack Obama, where Republicans only like him, but, you know, he's not that great there could be better options so a very winnable race he lost people would be like no one no let's get someone else uh kefauver would be the nominee very popular candidate very populist-esque candidate though he'd still lose to eisenhower because eisenhower was just so overwhelmingly po uh, popular and uh eisenhower would defeat kefauver 361 to 169 to become the 35th president and this is where the changes pretty much stop uh, except 1960 has a change in the electoral map. As you can see here, Kennedy would do a lot better in the South uh, due to there being more prominent Southern politicians nationwide instead of just in the South. Uh, where and he would still and he would win by an actually bigger margin due to his improved numbers in the South because of this. Where you know civil rights, he's not taking as a much of a pro civil rights stance as he did. In our timeline, he wouldn't start doing that until halfway through his uh, first term. He would still be assassinated. He wouldn't be assassinated in 62. He'd probably be assassinated somewhere around 60, uh, early 1964, late 1963. He'd survive a bit longer, which could have multiple ramifications on a lot of things that um, I'm not going to get into right now. Uh, he would beat Nixon 320 to 216 to become the 36th president. And we just go back on the timeline... We go back on the timeline after this. Johnson would be president by 1964 still, and he would beat Barry Goldwater. But anyway, guys, this is the Chaotic One saying peace.